a known Tony Laureano for about six years now. He's been a grommet ever since I've known him. He's still a grommet. He actually had a few days where he was actually paddle and tow, but he was towing. And then he thought, man, I really need to get a paddle wave. And on his fourth day, this is what he got. Hey Pierre, I need a paddle session. I already lost like three really good days to paddle. And if I don't paddle like today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get crazy. You know, because what I really love to do is paddle. And yeah, at the last session, I just went like, okay, I'm going to paddle. And he was like, you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. We tow in the afternoon, but in the morning, I really need to paddle. And I went to paddle and I got like two amazing waves. Hey, it wasn't a really good day to paddle, you know, but I just went like, okay, I really want to paddle. Even if it's shit, I'm going to paddle, honestly. I don't care. I want to paddle on a big board. I want to drop on a big board. And I don't know. It looks like I just got connected with the, with the ocean, with Praia do Norte. And I got like a first one. It wasn't like a really good one or a really like a really big one, but it was a fun one. I was like, okay, nice. I'm already happy. I went back to the um, to the to the peak, and then I just had like a perfect one going in my direction. I was like, wow, okay, this is a good one. It was like a perfect one, a perfect A-frame from Nazareth. And I just remember I was pedaling, and as soon as I stand up on the board, I felt the nose going like start to nose dive. I was like, oh no, I managed to take out the nose, did the bottom. When I did the bottom, I had a bump. I almost lost my balance. Then I had to go like kind of straight again, then continue the bottom. And then I wasn't in the barrel, I was like on the mouth of the barrel. But it was like a huge barrel and then I felt the speed and I just went like, oh, it was like a really special life. the last two weeks I was just like all stressed out and just towing and like overthinking because I didn't pedal and I was towing and a lot of things and that wave took like all the stress I had so yeah it was a really special wave for me. You're, you're a frothing, I mean obviously you know once you came out you, you just, how did the feeling, must have been a great feeling. Yeah the feeling was amazing you know for me like big wave surfing is all about feelings and if I woke up I feel to pedal and it's good to tow, but I feel pedal, I'm gonna pedal. If it's good to pedal, but I feel like about towing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do towing. And yeah, that day I was feeling like, okay, I'm gonna pedal today. I don't know why I have the feeling to pedal today. I went out and like, you know, I just went like, okay, I just have to do things like what I feel, you know. I felt the pedal session, I got like two really good ways pedaling. So I just went like, okay, if I feel it, I'm just gonna do it. And then, then after that wave, I just went like, okay, this felt way too good to don't celebrate.
you feel like we need a paddling event? Seems like it seems missing, you know. It needs... I, I think I think in Israel, like a paddling event, it would be amazing, honestly, you know. Because here you have a towing event, and it makes total sense to have a, a towing event here because big surf in the world, like, is, is uh, known all around the world because of towing and everything. But the truth is that we have like an amazing way to do a pedal contest here too. Like, remember, the last pedal contest we have, we had here, uh, 2018, the one that Wiggy won, it was amazing. Like one of the best pedal contests that ever happened on history of big wave surfing. So, yeah, I think, I think we, we need that here.